So shortly after 7 p.m. tonight, we received dozens of calls of a helicopter crash in the East River, just south of 86th Street. Harbor units from the NYPD and the fire department immediately responded. Aviation responded too, and the Coast Guard. A private tugboat also assisted in the response. A search and rescue operation immediately began. There were a total of six people on the helicopter, including the pilot. The National Transportation Safety Board will be conducting an investigation into the crash. The, uh, and it, this is preliminary information. This just happened a couple hours ago. Uh, the helicopter is owned by Liberty Helicopter Tours, and it was a private charter for a show, uh, photo shoot. I'm going to turn it over to Commissioner Nigro now. Okay. As Commissioner O'Neill said, there were six people on the helicopter. The pilot freed himself. The other five did not. So police and fire divers entered the water and removed the other five. Three of them were removed in critical condition. They have been removed to the hospital. Two of them were declared pronounced dead at the scene. So we have a total of five victims, three in the hospital right now. We don't have an outcome on them. The pilot is okay. He was taken to the hospital to be checked out, but he uh, he was able to get out. It took it took a while for the divers to get these people out. They worked very quickly, as fast as they could. That's 50 feet of water there. There was a four mile an hour current, and the temperature is below 40. So everyone worked very hard. It's a great tragedy that we had occur here on a quiet, otherwise quiet, Sunday evening. We can take a few of your questions. Where is the helicopter now, and do you have control of the aircraft? The helicopter is down a couple of blocks from here. Thanks, Peter. Right. And we do have control of it. I'd like to thank the crew from the tugboat. They were the first boat on the scene. Our ARC rescue responded within five minutes, and then uh, FDNY Marine units were there, as well as our harbor. Tell me how, how, difficult yeah, it was, how difficult it was with the current to, to handle the scene and kept it kind of moving. Yeah, speaking to the, the tugboat personnel and our uh, um, Marine per FDNY Marine personnel and our harbor unit, it was extremely difficult. Uh, the uh, it was going southbound, so it was it was it was tough. It was a tough operation. Can you describe the details of the rescue? How long it took? How easy? Now we're not going to go into too many details here. This just happened a couple hours ago. This is going to be an investigation con uh, conducted by the National Transportation Safety Board. Yeah, yeah right here. But this is all going to be part of the investigation. We're not going to go too deep into this. This just happened. Aaron. Aaron. Thanks, Commissioner. Yeah. Commissioner Nigro. Did you have medics in the water in addition to? No, the medics were on the boat. The pilot freed himself, was taken by one of our fire boats to shore and was put on an ambulance. Um, one of the most difficult parts of the operation, we're told, is the five people besides the pilot were all tightly harnessed. So these harnesses had to be cut and removed in order to get these folks off of this helicopter, which was upside down at the time and completely submerged. Miles, yep. Miles, Miles. Can you just, can you just explain that operation? So it, you, your firefighters had to them out of the helicopter, them out of the helicopter? Firefighters and police divers, yes, they removed each of these five from the helicopter. And, and in that, so in, in that 15 feet of water area, how, so what was it closest to? Was it closest to Roosevelt Island? Was it closest to Gracie Mansion? It, it, it looked like it was just about in the middle of the, of the river, Miles. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you guys.